Yeah. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to praise His name most high. Amen. Somebody testimony, somebody prophecy. Um, every time I'm coming to this conference, there's so much trial and temptation. But at the end, we make it. Last year, we were coming, my mother was very sick. And um, we had to leave her. And I just told my sister, I said, we have bought our tickets and we are not going on any honeymoon or something that is of this world. We are going for something spiritual. So let us just pray, leave her in the hands of God and go and know God is going to take care of her. And we came, we had a nice time, we went back. She, she was diagnosed with uh, pancreatic cancer, and she had her operation in uh, May. Before her operation, the doctor and I sat and she said, your mom, we're going to take her left kidney. She's going to have colostomy. And 75% of her pancreas, we're going to take it away, part of her umbilical plus the 40 centimeter tumor. And we, and the first thing I said, God, 2015, the devil took my left kid and now he has come back for hers, it's not gonna work that way. Mm. And we stood in faith, we had our prayer team and we all prayed and uh, while she was in the operation room, the hospital had a chapel and I was there just praying deep meditation with God. And after the operation, the doctor called me on the telephone. She said, oh, the operation went well. I said, thank God. So I said, what was it was left and what did you people take? She said, first thing, we did not take her left kidney. We did not give her colostomy. But we took 75% of her pancreas, the 40 uh, centimeter tumor, 12, uh, 12 centimeter of her normal intestine, part of her umbilical cord, and she had two noodles. But we have to give her chemo chemotherapy uh, in the shortest uh, space of time because, you know, uh, when we have the cancer, the prognosis is not good. So I was like, okay. I call my sister, I call those who pray along with us, and we continue the, the prayer, praying that there should be no chemotherapy. And they said, oh, we have to do it. I said, we will take the risks. If anything happened to her, let her be here responsible. The hospital is not going to be responsible for that. But what we suggest, what the Holy Spirit told us is that, let us wait. After three months, you go and take the, go through the entire procedure, take her CAT scan, and do everything and see. So we did follow the leading of the Holy Spirit and after three months, it went for her CAT scan, went for the conversation with the doctor, and he told her, I got good news. I said, we always been expecting good news. <laughs> <laughs> she don't need the chemotherapy. Praise God. And since then, she have gone twice. Everything is going just fine. Yeah. At first, she was living on 15 tablets a day, and now it has reduced to. So I give God the glory. Yeah.